Good morning, it's Wednesday, July 15th, 2009. I'm Julie Bedanes, and this is the morning briefing a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. House Democrats released their $1.5 trillion health care reform bill yesterday, which would create a public health insurance program and impose new regulations on the health insurance industry. Their plan would be paid for by a 5.4 tax on Americans making more than $1 million a year, and employers would face tax penalties if they did not provide coverage for employees with an exemption for small businesses. In 2007, the U.S. detained three Iranians in Iraq and held them for two years without charge. Now the Washington Times had learned that they were actually diplomats in the country and had not been involved in any anti-U.S. activities. A former and a currently serving senior officer told the Washington Times exclusively that these three members of Iran's elite army force were in effect held as hostage to get Iran to reduce support for anti-U.S. violence in Iraq. And Judge Sonia Sotomayor will continue to answer questions today in day three of her confirmation hearings. On Tuesday, she answered questions on an array of hot-button issues, including her much-quoted remark about a wise Latina woman. That, she said, was a, quote, rhetorical flourish that fell flat and said she does not believe any ethnic, racial, or gender group has an advantage in sound judgment. She also said she accepted that the Second Amendment guarantees an individual's right to buy guns and called the right to abortion as established in Roe v. Wade a settled law. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and as we continue to follow the Sotomayor hearings and all your breaking news updates.